Hi there, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to prepare zone density map. You can see here, I have used this zone density map as a flood vulnerability parameter. It is one of the conditioning factor for flood vulnerability. So here you can see road density. Road density means length of road in per square kilometer area. So that's why Kimi per square kilometer. That's when you can see here, I have categorized it to five groups. I have published this paper, Geometrics, Nature, Hazards and Leaks Journal. And here the assessment of performance of GIS based analytical hierarchy process, ASP approach for flood modeling in Uttar Pradesh district of West Bengal, India. And here I have used various models like uh, ASP and sensitivity analysis like single parameter sensitivity and map removal sensitivity analysis for flood modeling, basically flood leaks modeling. And I have prepared flood susceptibility generation, flood vulnerability generation, and finally flood. Here you can see flood susceptibility parameters. Then here flood vulnerability parameter, and finally I have prepared flood risk generation. So road density one of important parameter for flood vulnerability generation. And you can see here in my WhatsApp community, one participant asks how to create road density map in ArcGIS. So that's why today I will show you. You can also join in my WhatsApp community, link in the description below, you can join here. So first of all, I will use here two software, one is QGIS and another is ArcGIS. Previously, I made one tutorial how to prepare road density map or distance to road map in ArcGIS and today I will show you how to prepare in QGIS and ArcGIS. And you can find here in QGIS console, you can find one tab, it's called plugin. So we'll use one plugin, important plugin is there, it's called Quick OSM. So just go to this plugin and, and go to this manage and install plugin here. Then you can find here Quick OSM, just search here Quick OSM, then you can find this Quick OSM tool, Quick OSM, this one, see this, this tool. Just click over there, just select it and now here the option install this plugin. So just click over there and you can use this quick OSM tool in many purposes like road density map, distance to road map, preparing the road map. So after installing, just close this one, then you can find this quick OSM tool here. See this one. So this one quick OSM tool. So now search here, just double click over there, then this pop-up screen will be open like this. So now you can add here like before open this you can do another thing you can add your layer like here i have layer so i'll add here layer my shape file like here my pulia shape file so i will add here just only one layer one block add it and close this now see this is my canvas so now easily you can add like quick OSM tool. Now see there are many options like quick query. You can select here the canvas extent. Canvas extent means here this canvas, this visible canvas. Then another thing here you can find this advanced query. Under this advanced query you can see this multi line strings, multi polygons. No need this multi polygons, we need only lines, no need this point, no need this node, node is okay, uh, no need this relation, we need only this line and way and node. Then here the run query, just click over there, this run query, then this OSM, mean open street map, see it's downloaded successfully. So now close this. Now see this download successfully on this query. This is a small blocks of Puglia district that are very few road network. That's why now we can export it. Okay, like export, save features there. So here geo package, instead of geo package, we can save it in SC shape file. Then we can change this file and file name. So this is my YouTube tutorial. So I'll save it here for demonstration the selected this demo and here wrote 
save it this is file name and just click it ok it's done it's successfully done now open your arc map then add this data you know how to add this data just select it here add data just click over there and go to your selected folder like i have prepared demo so here my demo the select this road this is not road actually this is road so i have to export this export save as features and line root click it okay yeah now line road this is line under developed area so a very few road network is there you can see this open attribute table here this this is OA types of OA that's when there is no high OA is there this is all are OA okay now this is for demonstration purpose so we'll use it select first this layer and go to properties and here we have to select our coordinator system see this is wcs 1984 we have to change it to upm system so go to projected coordinator system then go to utm then we have to select wcs 1984 northern hemisphere and i know this is a utm zone 45 so just selected utm zone 45 okay and then select again this line and road and data and export data then we can select this data frame and change it line dot utm save it and click it okay yes we need this utm so now go to arc toolbox here i'll show you how we can prepare it using this arc toolbox so just click over there then go to special analysis tool here see this one special analysis tool and click on this sign symbol then go to this density tool under this density tool you can find here the kernel density tool line density tool if you use kernel density tool then you can use both point and line if you use line density tool then you have to use only line okay so i have only line so i can use line density tool it will simply it will calculate a magnitude per unit area from polyline features that fall within the radius of each cell that's why input polyline features we have to select line and root and population field we can select it none no issues there and here i'll save it here demo so it will convert a raster so road density dot tif disaster so i'll change it this extension to dot tif and see this is output cell size it's optional but we should change it according to our needs so i'll change it to 30 meter and see here the area units it's the most important part because we need to convert in square kilometer okay you can change it to other unit also but we need to change square kilometer so it's a kimi per square kilometer then go to environment another important part we have to change this processing extent we will change this processing extent to our study area so here our study area mean here i wrong the name as road so our study area name here road and then here raster analysis we have to mask it as a our study area now click it ok and ok so it's working now very small study area so we can easily prepare it yes you can select a large area also but it will take time that's why i have selected a small study area for demonstration so see now just select it and select this one see now this is our road density map beautiful road density is created so we can change it now into five class like classified then we can select five class selected format tool number of decimal here two and you can use equal interval you can use here natural break according to your needs according to your choice and you can 
I will use a as red color because it's a load density map. So this is our load density map. Just uncheck this. Say this is our load density map. Now go to layout to you know for final preparation of map we need to prepare in layout view. Uh, we can zoom in or zoom out by changing here. If we increase this or uh, decrease this then map will be increased like this. Okay. So I'll change here instead of 42, I'll change here 35, 10, 15. Okay, now place over there 12. I think 12 is okay. Select it. Yeah. So now go to insert, here we can place north arrow, select your north arrow, according to your choice, yes. I always prefer to place north arrow in the upper hand right side corner here and scale bar, I always prefer simple scale bar like this, I prefer to place lower side you can choose there is no rules you can place any higher so for visibility it should be at least 14 so now select it again and go to properties now we can place here grids so here new grid very small area so second I think we need select second yes oh no Let's go to here, do not show line and interval here 30 seconds. Instead of 30 seconds, we can select here like 5 minutes. Let me check. Let me check. Does it work or not? Yes, it's work. We can increase also a little bit. Like instead of 5, we can select here 7. Yes, then go to properties, then go to level. See, this is important. There are two levels, level axis and another level orientation. So this is level orientation. So this is all are horizontal. But for these two sides, like left side and right side, we need left and right side vertical orientation. And here the size, font size, we can increase for visibility at least 14 so just select it and apply and ok apply yeah now it is visible see now most important part is here the index or legend so just place over there this legend this is root next just follow this technique very easy yeah now place over there now go to properties, then style, you can select your style from there are various style available in ArcMap, so select this layer name and label, I always prefer this, so 14 and also you can do another thing, we need, sometime we need, it is also okay, because we, sometime we need value also. So apply and OK. See this legend. Now we have to write here root. Here the root. We have to write here the unit also. So we can write very easily root kimi ma square kimi. Right? Apply and OK. Our beautiful map is ready. Now go to file and just simply export it. Remember, when you export it, you should export at least 600 dpi for publication standard. So save it now. So I have saved it in untitled, right? So just go to desktop here. Most important part, it is also most important part. Because see, some of this area, we can easily use Microsoft to edit this. Just edit. And here we can cut this portion. 
without losing any resolution. See, it's ready. Save a copy. Yes. Root density. Save it. Wow, our beautiful map is ready. Thank you for watching this tutorial.